Okay, tonight we're going to uh, outline uh, what I've titled uh, Ridiculously Easy Home Storage. And uh, we've actually got several projects going on here tonight. Got jars sterilizing here and the pressure canner. And I'm boiling down some tomatoes for sauce. And a big pile of freshly picked greens, but none of those are the ridiculously easy method we're doing tonight. And what is it you ask? Cold pack canning meat. Now, uh, you know, preserving meat, it just seems like it ought to be complicated and, and difficult, but Cold pack canning meat is the easiest thing you will ever do with a pressure canner. And uh, here we go. So here's what's uh, required. Hot uh, sterilized jars. Some non-iodized salt. Uh, bowl of meat. And in this particular case, it's uh, pork loin that was uh, on sale today in town. So I picked up a bunch. Um, besides that, lid grabber, jar grabber. And uh, that's all that's required. So, it isn't going to get any easier. We grab our meat. Stuff in the jar. So we're going to fill each one of these jars, good and packed, within half inch of the top, just like that. Okay, jars are packed with meat. Shake a little salt in each one. Not real picky how much. Honestly, it, uh, you could use no salt, it would be fine. I like to put salt in it. I usually say, uh, the manual say uh, for pints, um, I believe half a teaspoon, whole teaspoon for quarts. We're doing pints, but you know, I just shake some in. So from this point, we uh, just follow our basic canning procedure. We uh, wipe the rim and uh, get ourselves a lid out of hot water. Put it on there, screw on a ring. You'll notice all we put in there is the meat and salt. Um, it doesn't require any boiling water, or any broth, anything like that in the pressure canner process it actually makes its own broth uh, when you when you cold pack it which is also called raw pack um, if you're going to cook it first then you'd have to add broth or boiling water but in this way you just slap it in there raw and screw the top on basically can't get any easier than that And tighten the ring 
and in the canner it goes. Okay, we get the last of our jars in there. So from the point that uh, the canner is up to the proper pressure, which would be, uh, you know, 10, 11 pounds, I usually go a little higher. I get it up to 15 and I back it off to about 12, 13. Uh, but from that point, um, when we're satisfied with the pressure, uh, we're going to process these for an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, that's all there is to it. minutes is up so you simply turn it off wait till it depressurizes take out our completed uh, can profile.